I've also found that um, it helps the student, the professional, whoever is playing any kind of wind instrument, but uh, in this case we're talking about the soprano saxophone, to learn to focus their attention on the sound that's coming out. This is one of the prime ways to develop your own sound because you need to accept what's coming out your horn and by focusing on it and trying to make it as beautiful, shape the sound and uh, uh, just get the maximum resonances out of every note, then this will help you to develop your own sound. And um, it's an internal process so it's kind of hard to demonstrate externally but I will try and do it. And I found that by concentrating on the sound, it just changes your whole attitude toward what you're doing. So I would have students just play random notes. This is just actually separate from long tone. I'm also concentrating on the different qualities of the different registers of the soprano. Um, some people tend to play the soprano just in a middle register and don't want to go up to the high notes because they're afraid it's too harsh or the low notes because they're kind of hard to get sometimes. But it is a true saxophone and it's a complete instrument. So you want to be able to uh, learn to deal with the expression that's available to you in each register of the instrument. The middle register is very uh, uh, warm and beautiful and can be played down here. The low register, particularly on the curved soprano, is very full and very rich. And um, a lot of music, because it's an octave higher than the tenor, you actually tend to dwell in the low register more to play a melody, say a Thelonious Monk composition, because Monk's compositions mostly fit the soprano, the lowest note being concert A flat. If you played a song such as In Walk Bud, your lowest note is that nice, fat, round B flat. And uh, players such as Steve Lacey always learned to play in the low register, although he could play at any register and take it up. But when you take that up an octave, it's a whole other world, even though that's only an octave. So each register has its particular qualities. Now I found the middle to the upper register has a real richness on the soprano, and the more you work for that, the more beautiful it can be, but you have to understand that it's very high. You're already, um, if middle C is down here, on the piano, that's middle C. So you're already in the middle of the main orchestral registers right there. So up here is an octave above that and then another octave above that. So you're already way up in the high register, which is why it's a soprano. It's a soprano register. So when I'm playing like that, and this is a way I practice performing, you can practice performance by concentrating on your own sound, concentrating on the notes to a melody, making sure you're really internalizing the song. It's saxophone, saxophone should be lots more about than just pushing the buttons on the instrument.